presentation by using the question text box that's located on the right panel of your screen. All of your questions will be addressed at the end of the webinar. So without any further ado, why don't we go ahead and get started with today's program. So I'd like to start by talking a little bit about Replicon, who we are and what we do. So we, we are the leader in cloud time tracking applications. And as you can see here, we're, we're used very extensively by many different organizations, over 7,800 customers spread out around 1.5 million users throughout the world. And our solutions are used by millions uh, to essentially do several different things, um, including things such as managing their workforce attendance projects uh, and the programs in the organization, managing their professional services teams, as well as tracking time and costs um, in shared service organizational environments. And here's just a sample of some of the customers that we have, just to give you a sense of the wide diversity that we hold. So we, 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 we have companies that depend on our solutions um, that are very, some large organizations such as Xerox, Credit Suisse, Moody's, as well as a lot of small organizations that um, are, are much smaller and can benefit from a solution that's strong enough and robust enough to meet the demands of high organizations, but can be, um, can be also deployed at very small locations. So a wide variety. And all of these customers are looking for specific benefits that we, that we give them. And in particular, these are the kind of the three key categories of where customers see benefits from using our solutions. So the first one is uh, having greater insight into their, their labor and into their employees. So by giving a 360 view into how employees are spending their time, what projects, what they're working on, really gives organizations a, a good amount of information about how employees are spending their time and how to best make use of those resources. The second has to do with compliance, so giving capabilities and tools to help monitor and, and keep track of, of compliance regulations so you can in, ensure compliance in that area. And these can range from staying compliant with HR-related regulations that deal with time and attendance, such as overtime, um, absences, meal breaks, as well as other specific type of regulations that deal with other time tracking elements, such as managing um, grant time and making sure you're compliant with grant um, grant management with uh, donors or regulatory bodies. So a lot of different types of compliance areas that we support. And then the third one, which would be it's, it's sort of the focus of really of this webinar, is about optimizing processes. And what we mean by that is essentially taking what traditionally has been a manual effort or an effort used with you know up subpar technology to streamline it to make it more efficient, automate it, and and get a lot of gains in that. And um, here are just uh, a few samples of some of the customers that we've worked with that have really helped um, achieve a lot of efficiencies, a lot of operational efficiencies in this area. Um, just to get highlight a few here, for instance, Flight Center was able to reduce the, the accounting time that they needed to, to keep track of time and process the information that they needed by 50%. GeoDigital was able to reduce their payroll processing from three, three days and two persons down to two days and one staff. Similarly. Um, Bantech was also able to reduce um, the amount of effort that was needed to complete their tasks. Fisher Vista saw an increase in productivity. So um, again, um, being able to do more with less, making things more streamlined, and um, being able to shift resources. If, if, if you don't have to use as many resources to maintain your timekeeping, your employee time, you can, you can use those resources in other parts of your company that could possibly drive more strategic value for your, for your organizations. So with that, to set up our solutions and who we are as a company, Replicon, what I'd like to do at this point is to turn it over to Scott Bales and um, have him go ahead and walk you through our solution so you can see firsthand how we can do this for you. Go ahead, Scott. Perfect. Thanks, Armando. And I do want to uh, just confirm that my screen is shared and you're seeing the application, Armando, on your side? Yes, Scott. I can see it well. Great. Thanks. Uh, thanks again and welcome, everybody, to, uh, to the webinar today. Uh, what uh, what we're going to do is take the next uh, the next few minutes to walk through the product and, and highlight some of the efficiency features um, that contribute to reducing the cost and, and improving your payroll uh, efficiency. As we go through the product, I'll be pointing out these areas, and then what we'll do after I've done that is we'll take your questions and we'll, we'll go through your questions. If we need to show something else in the product or drill down, happy to do that as well. So I've, I've shared my screen, and what we're looking at here is really where efficiency starts within the Replicon solution. It is the timesheet or the end user interface. Now, as you can see at the top, there's lots of capabilities with our system. 
Armando mentioned that it is very robust, but efficiency starts at the end user experience. And there's several items here that are going to help with that. One, it's a clean interface. You may be using a different time tracking solution today, and it may be uh, potentially decades old. Um, it may be a, an Excel spreadsheet where people are, are filling it in by hand or uh, even paper in some cases. What we're giving uh, is a clean interface so it's very clear what the user needs to do. Nobody is paying their employees to fill in timesheets. Uh, the one partial exception of that might be billable uh, consultants, uh, but even then, that time they're filling in their timesheets isn't going to be something they can bill to their customers. So as an end user, we want this experience to be as quick and painless as possible. And Replicon has invested a lot of development dollars in ensuring that uh, everywhere from a clean interface to uh, very specific choices that a user may have based on, uh, based on their permissions in the system. We don't want to overload the user with choices because more choices just mean more mistakes. So you want an interface that's tailored to a user on their data selection, uh, and Replicon provides that. Uh, the other thing we want to consider is um, notification and validation. And right up at the top, a perfect example of one of those is, is I've got a, a start time for a specific project or a punch in, and I don't have an out punch. So we want to be telling users what they need to correct before they submit. Because at the end of the day, if we don't, and they do submit it with errors, it just results in more work for a supervisor within the organization. Okay. Now we will also want to make this as um, close to their existing processes as possible. And we're looking at a week here, Monday through uh, Sunday. Uh, that period is defined by our customers. So if you need a monthly period or you need a two-week period, the system allows you to configure that and set it up. And, and different uh, settings can be applied to different users. We want it to be as simple and easy and straightforward and, and trainingless, uh, if you will, for the users in your organization. That extends to time off as well. Time capture is one piece of the puzzle, but there's also the time off side of that. And, and on the time off side, Replicon is also providing what can only be described as the most intuitive interface possible um, to, uh, to book time off. It's a calendar. Many organizations have a calendar like this, either um, on an internal share site or um, on the wall in the, uh, in the break room. And, and this calendar is a shared calendar, so I can book my requests. I can simply click and drag across days that I would like to book off. The system does the rest. It educates me. It tells me how many days I'll have remaining. It lets me choose different types of time off again, applying only to me as a user. So we want to make sure that as user, I'm not confused or um, entering incorrect information because, uh, again, that's just going to contribute to less efficiency down the path road from an approvals perspective. Okay. We want to educate the user throughout the product. And, and as they go through the tool, we want to expose data elements like these above here, showing them what's available to be booked, what's available in the future, et cetera. Um, uh, because from an operational efficiency perspective, we don't want the user to have to call their supervisor or call HR to get those, those details. We want to give those details to them upfront and automate as much of that as possible. And that's really from an end user um, how simple we can make this for them. And again, as an end user, this is all permission-based, so I might only have these two tabs, timesheet and time off, and I'm not going to confuse them with all this other functionality that we're going to touch on. Team tab is, is something we're going to expose to our supervisors or approvers within the system, and, and efficiency you know, appears here as well because now we're putting all of the approvals together, both timesheets and time off bookings, all approved in a single screen, and um, all approved um, on mass, if you would like, or the ability to drill down. Several aspects of Replicon will allow you to perform actions at a high level on multiple timesheets as we're or time off requests as we're seeing, or give you the fine detail you need to drill down and find results. Okay, so we don't want to limit you to to data visibility at all within the system. I should also point out that everything we were doing on that previous screen entering in our time, capturing details related to that, the actual calendar where we were booking our time off, and approvals, the screen that we're on now, all of that is exposed to our mobile solution. So whether you have an Android device or an Apple iOS device, you can simply access our mobile application, enter your time, do your approvals, and uh, book time off requests all from a mobile device 
without having to log into the system at all. The operational efficiency does not stop here because as we can see, obviously, uh, we need to get the data out of the system. So the time and time off is captured within the tool and then it needs to be taken out of the system. And in the case of time and attendance modules, that's done through the, the payroll uh, administrator, getting this data out to your payroll provider or your internal finance department to pay employees. The payroll tab at the top that you can see I've selected is, is where that's going to happen. And we talk about efficiency and, and access to different features and limiting what you have access to. From a payroll perspective, it's almost the other way around. They need access to a lot of different capabilities and in, in applications you're using today or have used in the past, a lot of times that has uh, really resulted in <clears throat> sorry, some administrative capabilities, some reporting capabilities, and what Replicon has done is it's talked to payroll administrators and it's brought all of that together uh, and into one location and one menu where I can, from the payroll menu, see timesheets that are due, their statuses, I can see time off within the system and understand um, all of the bookings and, and what their statuses are because, again, time off needs to be uh, accounted for from a payroll perspective. And then once I'm happy with the statuses and, and all of the information that's waiting to be extracted, I extract it. And again, I haven't left the payroll tab. I have been able to validate statuses, update timesheets potentially. Maybe I need to go in and override some of the settings or, that are there. I can also go into time off, and then from export, in this case, I'm getting this data out to ADP. Uh, it's going to produce a file for me, whether it's ADP, it could be Ceridian, it could be HR Pyramid. There's any number of systems that we're going to be able to take this data to and uh, ensure an upload and prevent you from having to enter this data again, uh, uh, contributing to, uh, to efficiency from a data entry perspective. Okay. Now we talk about extracting data out of the system and there's a couple of different places this happens. One is the payroll tab, but uh, Replicon also provides a, a project time tracking interface and that, that project time tracking would expose some additional fields on that timesheet we looked at, but then um, instead of getting that data out for payroll, and we can do both at the same time, we also allow you to take that data out for invoicing. So here from the billing tab, we're able to see our clients listed now instead of users. And from those client listings, we can very easily see what's outstanding and has not been invoiced. Drilling down through the client, we're able to see all the specific timesheets and projects. And we can very easily select everything. Or we can choose to just select a few different timesheets, create an invoice based on that, and this will push that data over your financial system for uh, invoicing generation. Now, the third area we see information coming out of the system is through reporting. Okay? All systems are going to have reporting, but the, the, the thing that sets Replicon's reporting aside uh, from all of those other systems is ultimately your ability to create, modify, and update any of the reports. Every system will have reporting, but what typically happens is that report turns into a static view that you have no control over. And in some cases, you need to modify your business practices. Um, Armando talked about a customer of ours that had three part-time staff generating uh, reporting. What they're able to do is reduce that number because now they don't have to do a lot of manual work outside of the system. They're able to run the reports they need and modify them. Here, I've generated a timesheet status report. Very simple. Um, a lot of systems are going to have this. It shows the timesheet period. It shows us the user's timesheet and the number of hours in it and I'm grouping by the approval status. So these are all the approved timesheets. You'll see as I go through time and through history that we'll start to see some that are waiting, some that are actually still open from the end of December. And something about this report or any other report in the system might not meet your business requirement. And you may be left to take this to Excel and do all kinds of manipulation. What you're able to do within our tool um, from settings is add any field within the system that you would like to see. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, any approval comments, waiting on specific users. Add any of these columns you want. Move them around just by dragging and dropping them in the report interface. And then uh, add any grouping that you see down below. 
And once you're happy with the report that you've generated, it's very easy to save and rerun this report. And we talk about um, having to do things over and over again. That is going to take away from that efficiency that we're adding to. So what we're going to do is schedule this. So I've created the report that I want. I can see the statuses, but I can also schedule it. So the system is going to let me take the data out of the system on my terms at my specific increments. We can do that multiple times a day. We don't can have that email to us. There's no need to access the system at all to, to manually run this report on a regular basis. Okay. Now we've talked a little bit today about uh, efficiency. I just want to recap before we, we get into the questions. From, uh, from a timesheet perspective, again, remember there's lots of checks and balances here to help make this a great experience for the user and, again, mobile interface so the user doesn't have to do it here. They can do it on the fly from their phone. Okay. From a supervisor's perspective, my team tab gives me access to all of my approvals that are outstanding and all of my approvals I've done historically as well as time off. Okay. Getting the data out of the system is, is going to fall into one of three categories. Payroll, getting that data out to, uh, to extract for your payroll provider and all of the functionality to manipulate those timesheets and time off items all from one place. Okay not having to jump around the application to, to get to what you need. Uh, the same holds true from a billing perspective, getting the time out of the system for invoicing. And last but not least uh, is reporting. Um, the ability to schedule the reports, the ability to modify reports, and generate them in the format that you want so that you can eliminate all of that manipulation that is happening outside of the system and, uh, and provide those reports out of the box pre-formatted to your requirements. So with that, Armando, I think, uh, I think I'd like to uh, take, uh, take a break and, and talk through the questions that we may have uh, that have come up over the course of uh, the last 10 minutes and, and see if uh, we can shed some light on them. Uh, thanks, Scott. That was a great overview. Yes, why don't we go ahead and do that. So uh, for those of you on the line, um, please, um, if you have any questions now, if you haven't already, now's a great time to submit them. To the, to the questions box on, on the right-hand panel. So please go ahead and submit your questions and we'll, we'll go through them and address them during this, during this webinar. So let me see here. Um, we have a question here from Robert. And his question is, does the system track international holidays? That's uh, that's a great question, uh, great question, Robert. So the, the calendar view that I had up, I'm not sure if any specific holidays were shown. I, I think New Year's uh, may, have been, uh, may have been shown, but it, it does support international holidays. So you can set up multiple holiday calendars, potentially based on geographic location, and then you can uh, associate those with the user. So as a user, again, I see what I need to see in the system uh, versus other users in other locations would see what they need to see from a calendar perspective. So yes, Robert, it does. Okay, great. Please, uh, again, feel free to submit your questions if you have